<laughs> Hello plant people, my name is Svetlana, I am from Firefly in the room. This is Rocky, he's a singer. <laughs> okay, so today I have so many nostalgic feels, because <laughs> both these cactus uh, arrangement, fairy gardens, whatever you call it, I did it on this channel. Uh, this one actually was the first fairy garden video the first video at all that i did on this channel so over time it's been more than four months since my first video and in four months we can see a difference for sure so here you can see how Puntia has a beautiful but long ear right this uh this Apunte has so much new growth and this point is did not take <laughs> it's the same so what i'm going to do i will try to combine both these uh, cactus gardens in one pot because well summer is almost over <laughs> so winter is coming and i i know that soon i will have to bring all the plants from my balcony back home and I will need a little bit more space. So what I will try to do, I'll try to squish them a little bit in one pot. <laughs> we'll see how that works. This uh, garden I also did on my channel, but in here you can see we have one lost baby. <laughs> there was one succulent that did not make it. I overwatered it. Not surprising. <laughs> so, what will happen? I'll try to put all these plants in this pot because it's a little bit higher. So there will be a little bit more soil in it and there will be much more place for some roots to grow. So let's do it. I just, yeah, just do it, right? I always talk so much. Insane. Let's see what's going on under all this beautiful sand and rocks and shells. Let's take out. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so as I can see, the roots in this plant grows not down but to the sides. And there is much more roots than there was when they potted it, so that's a good news. Yeah, there is two babies. Beautiful Hawaii, right? So this one is doing amazing. This cacti also, also doing much better, yay! Because this one, I can see in the middle, new, 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 I don't know how to call it, but new growth, just coming new growth, right? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, safe ones are out. Probably will take some soil out also. So this pot is without hole. I know, horrible. But I just really love the way this pot looked. And as you may notice, the walls are very thick in it. So I know that I won't be able to do it a hole with a knife, as I always do in some pots. <laughs> and I also don't have a drill, so... We'll work with that. I don't know, these cacti and succulents, succulent, okay, two of them. They survived, everything was good, I don't know. Just one dude wasn't that happy about it. So there it is, there is no hole. That's why I put some hydro stones in the bottom of this pot. And I will do this again. course okay there it is hydro stones in the bottom we have some soil mixed with perlite so it'd be a little bit more eerie okay and the top layer i will put off 
fresh soil so it will be much fresher mix it a little bit beautiful okay so now how i do compositions like that so first of all i'll always try to take the highest plants i mean the tallest <laughs> not the highest genius okay let's take this one out okay so not too much happened after i put it not too many roots new roots okay like that and i will bring this this pot to the balcony because i can see that it needs a little bit more light it's a little bit um, looking weird <laughs> so one now let's take another howard here and put it in this hole okay so this one doesn't have too much deep roots so i don't need to make a huge hole now put some fresh soil in here careful right <laughs> Sorry, damn it. I put a third of a spoon on my sock. Okay, okay, now I'll take this, the most dangerous apuntia of them all. Okay, so it's still the same, not too many roots. New roots, I mean. So, I know it's a little bit laying down, but I will put it in in front of the sun to this direction so it stand up back no don't move no so that's what we have at the moment right two plants to go I'm afraid to touch this part where this apuntia was because I hate these spikes. Trust me, I hate them. Okay, we'll take last apuntia. This one also doesn't grow too much new roots. And in here we have a little spot. Okay, you don't see it. Little spot for our cacti. Actually, I don't know the name of this one. So if somebody knows, please let me know. Now I'll put some fresh soil on the top. Actually, I love the way it looks. Didn't thought I will. Okay, and here we have it. Beautiful garden, right? The last thing what I need to do, I'll put some gravel in it so it looks more beautiful. So, where is my spoon? It will give some more desert wipe, right? And I use simple pebbles from aquarium. <laughs> For aquarium. It wasn't an aquarium yet. <laughs> nice. Put it. Look at this beautiful thing. 
isn't it? Isn't that so desert wibish? Yes, it is. It is. Just look at it. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> so instead of having two pots, I have only one and with five plants. It's awesome. It doesn't take too much space and it looks so exotic. Oh my gosh. It just looks perfect. <gasps> like it's meant to be. So here we have it, people. Just look how it looks. Gorgeous. <laughs> I love how it turned out. Now I will put it in my balcony so it gets a little bit more sun than it did before. So it won't be that weird looking. <laughs> and that's it. I always love when people try to do something themselves and try to do some arrangements, some gardens, and well, this cactus garden, I think that's a success one. Successful one, right? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Would you like to do something like that yourself? Right? Why wouldn't you? It looks beautiful and gorgeous. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video because look how it turned out. Bellissima. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Oh. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.